Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, and I want to thank the chair for uh, convening this hearing and all of the witnesses for participating. It's been a delightful, free-flowing uh, discussion. It's been great to see Mr. Dodge and Mr. Waldron seated next to each other, going toe to toe. Um, and um, um, I'll always benefit uh, since I've started going last in the series of questioning on our side from uh, what has taken place um, because there's always one comment that kind of pops up uh, in the whole discussion that uh, hits my hits my mind. Um, that comment today came from Mr. Dodge when he looked at Mr. Waldron and said, uh, you can't talk out of both sides of your mouth. Um, and um, um, my thought was that uh, most of us uh, uh, in all of the industries, uh, is my experience, have talked out of both sides of their mouths, uh, depending on what's beneficial to uh, their particular industry. But um, um, I did note that uh, it was particularly applicable to uh, the broadcasters because um, I've um, been a strong advocate for people being paid for uh, their intellectual property. Um, and for that reason, I've been a strong advocate of your ability to negotiate uh, uh, for payment for your uh, products. Um, I think that's, uh, that's very important. Um, what I have not been able to reconcile, however, is uh, how you apply a different standard to um, the um, uh, the people who provide uh, copyright on uh, copyrighted material on radio, the performers. Um, and um, I just don't understand um, that dichotomy. Um, and so um, I'm hopeful that you all will um, um, maybe come around on the, on the radio side to the same position that you hold on the um, on when you own the the the, the protected material, um, um, understand that there are performers out there that own the protected material uh, that they produce, and they deserve to be paid um, um, also. So um, I'm not going to belabor that, um, um, although. Um, I would note that um, it, it seems to me to be unfair uh, for you all to take the position that um, there is some kind of performance tax uh, when the government gets um, uh, no part of the performance rights um, uh, revenue, uh, yet uh, there is no performance tax um, um, when um, when you get paid uh, for, for what you have the copyright to. So um, I hope uh, you all will help me reconcile that. I won't do it here in public, um, but it is a concern that I have. And um, uh, I think these are inordinately difficult uh, issues. Um, I kind of come down closer probably to where Mr. Patton does than, uh, than most people. Um, we'd probably be better off um, uh, to get the government out of the way, not only in this context, but uh, in the performance rights context, too. And uh, so it won't be surpri uh, surprised to anybody because I announced it at a hearing right before the break that I was introducing a bill uh, to do um, away with the compulsory license of, uh, of music, uh, but to make sure that um, if a performer, if you play a performer's music, um, that you uh, compensate them and go and work out a deal with them if that's what you want to do. Um, I'm kind of free market on, on a lot of this stuff, Mr. Patton, and I was particularly appreciative that um, 
uh, your testimony was the last testimony and um, and so um, I thank all of you for being here. I won't uh, necessarily ask a question unless uh, Mr. Waldron wants to respond to um, what I didn't intend to be a personal attack on NAB uh, because I started out by saying we all are self-serving and talk out of both sides of our mouths. I think uh, that's, that's characteristic of, um, of all of us at one time or another. Um, I just use your industry as an example, as Mr. Dodge did. Um, I thought his um, his comment was appropriate. Um, Mr. Uh, did I, I was just going to say, we look forward to further conversations with you. It probably is best in private. We don't accept all that you said, but we can continue those conversations. Well, we've 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 continued those conversations on a local and national level, and they've always been cordial and congenial. So. Um, as you all said, uh, you and Mr. Dodge and Mr. Waldron are good friends, and Mr. Dodge and Mr. Padden are good friends. All of us are good friends. We don't always agree on, on every issue. Um, Mr. Chairman, before you close the record, uh, uh, the Motion Picture Association of America has requested that we submit um, this infographic illustrating the continued rapid growth of online viewing options for audiences for the record, so I would ask unanimous consent that we make this a part of the record. I'm not even sure what it is, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm in complete agreement that um, anything that will help us make good decisions ought to be part of the record. Without so objection. I ask unanimous consent to submit. 